Mr. Yo, I'm a big fan, and thank you for coming here. Um, my question is, um, if you are engaged, engaged as an advisor to the Chinese government to find a permanent solution to disputes over the South China Sea, what would be your advice? Well, can you solve the South China Sea dispute in about a minute or two? <laughs> Historically, the South China Sea has been the commons which brought China and the kingdoms and principalities of Southeast Asia together. The claims are complicated because they go back to the KMT uh, government and even before that to the Qing dynasty when there were repeated protests against French incursion into the South China Sea. So China's claims to the South China Sea are not weak. But the 11 dash lines, which became nine, are egregious because if you're in Malaysia or in Philippines, it comes right up to my horizon. You say, how can that be fair? Just because I was not born yet, and you made your claim before I was born, you mean I must accept those claims? So the question is, will China be magnanimous in compromising? There's a historical basis for this. In the border delineation with Myanmar in 1960, between Chou Enlai and Nei Win, they settled on the McMahon Line, more or less a line which they never recognize in China and which is an important part of its dispute with India. When I was in Tangtong in uh, North Korea on the Chinese side of the Yalu River, there was an island which is at low tide, just a, a, a hop away. I was told this belongs to North Korea. I said, how come? He said, oh, Cho and Lai gave it to the North Koreans in return for the entire Yalu being open to navigation on both sides. And I suspect the Chinese were generous because on the other side, the Tumenjiang, the Tumen River, where China had no outlet to the sea except through the river, they wanted the same arrangement. In 1956 or 7, Ho Chi Minh, no, in 52, in the Gulf of Tonkin, they rubbed off two lines and settled the boundary. There was an island on the Chinese side. In 1954-55, Ho Chi Minh went to China. Chu Chou and Lai, and later Mao, he said, can we use the island to have a radar station quietly? Mao Zedong said, take the island. So the island now belongs to, to Vietnam. And Chinese people are not happy that Mao, without going through due process, just gave an island uh -huh. to Vietnam like that. So China is capable of being magnanimous in the way it solves its boundary problems. The key is to get the politics right. So I'm not unhopeful that slowly we can find win-win solutions for the South China Sea.